with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my Sugar Muses or Midnight Muses. Excuse me. <laughs> Great. I think I've got the hiccups or something. Um, we're going to find out. <laughs> this is either my Midnight Muses or my Sugar Muses. It's small enough that I think this is the Midnight. So, hello and welcome. If you guys are new to my channel, on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxings. Yep, I got the hiccups. Dang it. I had them the other night and I could not fall asleep. Ugh. All right. Let's see what we got. Midnight Muses. Wisdom and Wonder. Um, spell work. It says inside guidance. Am I on the right? <laughs> Revealing the truth, protection. Goddesses Athena? Ooh, who the heck is that? Bladawed? Diana? Lakshmi? Lilith? Nyx? Oh my god, this is great. <clears throat> Regana? And then Planet Moon Element Air. So I'll read this and then I'll tell you why it's great. <laughs> Jeez. Nature provides us with an endless source of inspiration, a sense of wonderment, and energy to fuel our spells and rituals. Her winged creatures can be messengers and serve as a connection to the spirit world. This month, as the Earth turns away from the sun on her yearly pilgrimage across the solar system, sorry, uh, we take a reflective pause to turn inward and quietly listen for the wisdom and the wonder that awaits us. In many cultures, the owl is sacred. Yes. They have been a bird of mystery and fascination for hundreds of years. Unlike most birds, owls make virtually no noise when they fly. Their feathers break turbulence down into smaller currents. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Which reduces sound. Um, they're predators, right? Okay. <laughs> Soft velvety down... Did I scare you guys? <laughs> Soft velvety down... 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 Feather... That's got to be a typo. Down feather, probably. Muffles sound as they guide effort effortlessly and silently through the night air. The owl's nighttime activity naturally leans towards symbolic meanings associated with yin energy, the moon, and the spirit world. The owl was a bird of prophecy and wisdom in many ancient cultures. It was a symbol for Athena, goddess of wisdom, and strategy. Before the Greeks gave their pantheon human forms. According to myth, an owl sat on Athena's blind side so that she could see the whole truth. Diana, the Roman response to Athena, was strongly associated with the moon and also the owl. As a spirit animal, the owl guides us to see beyond the veil of deception and illusion. It helps to see that, to see what's kept hidden and the true meaning behind someone's actions. The owl is a strong spirit guide for discernment and making decisions based on solid foundations. Call on the owl totem when you have to assess a situation or are seeking insight. The items in this month's box can be used in the order they're listed or used separately as you're called to do. Blah, 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 blah. And she's got a guided ritual. Guided ritual. Guided ritual. There's a guided ritual in the box on the paper. Okay. First off... O M G. Look at this artwork. I almost said, look at her butt. <laughs> oh my god, Becky. <laughs> what is I like big butts and I yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. The owl. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You know, the owl to me is like a spirit animal for sure. All right. And now we have a, um, we have a, uh, hold on. Let's, let's read about this first. I'm having a hard time. Art print by Christy. The digital collage art was created exclusively for this month's Midnight Muses box. Place it in your journal, book of shadows, or on your altar. Do, 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 do. All right, and then we have our, <clears throat> excuse me, intuitively drawn tarot card. There's the back of the card. I feel like I've seen this back before. And I got the magician. Yeah. And it's a chick. All right. Search for 
Caro de la Nuit, Nuit, whatever, on SugarMuses.com for more info on this deck. Take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has to you and any insight it may bring. I love the magician. Okay. Oh, what is that? Stop. Okay. I'll look at that in a minute. <laughs> okay. Wait. Here we go. We got a purple candle. I don't think it smells like anything. Um, it probably doesn't say anything necessarily about the candle, um, but it's probably in the ritual just to light it. But thank you for being purple. And it's a beeswax candle. All right, next we've got a sachet and it says black sardonyx. So apparently that's what's inside. <laughs> Uh, I thought I saw a tumble of black sardonyx. This, oops, this gemstone. Okay, let me show you. Very nice. This gemstone is a multicolored variety of banded onyx. Normally, onyx bands are black, but in this form, they may have alternating reddish brown bands which is a mixture of carnelian, onyx, and quartz. Sardonyx is the original August birthstone with a history that dates back more than 4,000 years. This gemstone is said to improve, improve perception and to attract good fortune. It is also used in spells for clear communication, personal power, and protection. Very nice. Oh, so this is called the prophecy candle. I just saw that. Um, so there you go. Yay! I love new babies. You brought it. Guys, I don't even know if you can see. It actually is, is pretty cool. I like the the swirlies in there, and I can see some quartz and carnelian, definitely. Okay, what do I get next? Okay, we've got some herbs. First, we've got some mugwort. And then we have Wisdom Blend. It's got some yummers in it. And then we've got uh, Casting Salts. She's always, she, which it used to be in her, it, we, before she stopped doing her boxes, she would always give Casting Salts. So we might be starting to get those back. All right, so. Glass Vials. So salt, salts have been, salts have so many uses Mixed with water, they can be used for purification of your sacred space and on their own used to represent the element of earth on your altar. Sprinkle some salt in the four directions of your casting circle for protection energy, protective energy. Then we have our mugwort. Burn with wormwood. In, I have both um, in my shop. I might be out of wormwood. I need to, I need to buy some more herbs. Um... Burn with wormwood in a heat-proof vessel to facilitate psychic visions. Use in dream pillows for prophetic dreams. Moon water infused with mugwort leaves can be used to wash crystal balls, magic mirrors, and crystals. Place around tools like tarot decks, etc. to aid in divination. I always say, like, when people message me and say, Hey, I'm new to herbs. Like, what would be, like, one of the best herbs to start with? And mugwort is, like, a really good really good one to start with. And then we have um, the Wisdom Spell Bottle. Spell cast to promote wisdom. This glass corked bottle is filled with dried botanicals, herbs, and stones to correlate with its intent. I wonder if it says anything in here. Probably in the ritual, you know, maybe use that. I don't know, but there you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, I never know what to do next. Okay, let's get our tea. Oh wait, we've got incense. Third eye. Mmm. She puts a like, nice little tag on it. Third eye incense sticks. This incense blend has notes of lavender and amber. And it just says a lot, you know, it's within the ritual, so there's not much more about it. Yum. Where did my I guess I moved my incense burner thing. Or maybe it's way over there, whatever. All right, we'll burn it later. 
All right, then we have some jasmine. What does it say? Uh, Jasmine Levert Organic Tea. And then, of course, we have a little bag to go with it. All right, so it says... Um, you know, it didn't really say much about it. It just says that um, to ground yourself after the... Um, after the ritual, but it says it's got green and black coarse leaf tea contains caffeine. Thank you. All right, we will find out what that tastes like later. Okay, let me pull some things over here. All right, we've got black crinkle paper putting down there, and let's do our oil. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I forgot to tell you why, why it was cool that she said NYX. Um, so I'm in a very small coven at this point. Um, there's just three of us, <laughs> which is totally cool because um, like having a smaller coven to me is better because then they're like super good friends, you know. But we decided to work on studying the goddess NYX um, for this month. And so when she mentioned NYX, I was like, yeah. Aiden and Brightheart, Nyx, what? Okay, so we've got Wisdom and Wonder <laughs> Botanical Oil. I'm so excited. You guys know I love her oils so much. They are like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. I'm smelling good, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, oh my God, I could just, mm. I love that she gives us these every time. They're so good. All right, and then in the ritual, it just talks about um, anointing your pulse points with the Wisdom and Wonder Ritual Oil. This magical oil was hand-blended with essential oils of geranium, rose, and black pepper. I've added notes of oak for strength and luck and amber for positive transmutation of energy. I suggest using it within a year. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the day and night. For external use only, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, smells so good. Okay, we've got two more items. I'm gonna put the box over there. The next item is this. Oh, he's kind of pliable. <laughs> we have this owl. Look at him. Woo, he is shiny. He's kind of squishy, but he's resin. Let's see. I saw resin somewhere. Handmade Resin Owl Figurine. He's so cute. This handmade owl is made out of resin and infused with eco-friendly glitter to resemble opalite. Yeah, right? Um, it was crafted to hold the intent of intuition, inner peace, wisdom, and insight. Each one is unique and has been chosen for you. Incorporate it into your month's, into this month's spells, rituals, or add to your altar to bring the energy of the owl into your space. Love it! Oh, he's so cute! Hopefully you guys can really see him. He is sparkly. Look at that. Man, that glitter is fabulous. I'm getting too much stuff up there. How's that? <laughs> okay, last but not least, we have something in this little black box. Oh, holy moly. Oh! It's a necklace. Look at this. Oh my. Oh, that's so cool. So hopefully you guys can see, and maybe I'm seeing this. This is what I'm seeing in this. So, all right, so we got the owl. This, these lines right here, they almost look like trees. And then there's two little crescent moons on each side. Um, if that's the case, wow, that's pretty cool. It looks like the night sky, like above trees, is in his wings. I'm gonna put this on. Well, maybe if I don't get it all janky. Okay. Okay, hold on. There we go. You get you're you guys are always like sitting here watching me do stuff that 
takes forever that I don't need to do on camera. <laughs> okay, so there's my owl, yeah. And then I've got like my, <laughs> my tie-dye shirt that kind of looks like, you know, I don't know, like misty night. Oh, it's got moons on the side. I forgot about that. Anyways, um, let's read about our owl. Yay, he's so cute. Uh, da, 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 da. I swear I saw something that said necklace. Oh, Spirit of the Night Owl Necklace. This beautiful flying owl features a night sky with it, yeah, within its wingspan and is nickel free. The owl spirit, this is very interesting because I feel like this sort of went with the box from, uh, from the, the box I did just a minute ago. <laughs> it was talking about spirit animals and I feel like the owl is definitely one of my spirit animals. Um, I've, I've had owls kind of hang around me and um, with I'm an Aquarius, so that's an air sign, and we are connected to like larger birds, uh, probably birds in general. But anyways, okay, stop talking and start reading. The owl spirit animal is emblematic of a deep connection with wisdom and intuitive knowledge. Wear this necklace for a boost of insight and guidance, guidance as you explore the unknown in the magical journey that lies before you. Very nice, yay! Oh. I'm excited. So what do you guys think? I would love to hear in the comments below what you think of this box. What is your favorite item? Um, probably the necklace. I love the artwork. I'm always down for her oils. So great box. Love it. This is her lower end box. So she's got the, um, the uh, mid, uh, sugar muses. I don't know if she still calls it deluxe. But there's like the Sugar Muses box and then the Midnight Muses. So this is the the lower tier. I get both because I love it. Um, but yeah, so I will link this company below in case this is new to you. Or if you just decided you want to subscribe to it. And if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment below. It really helps out my channel. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you guys are already a subscriber, thank you. I appreciate y'all. You guys are awesome. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.